Hello, it's Pedro from Twist, and I want to share in this video what the experience of using Twist with a project in a clean environment looks like. If you wonder when that clean environment happens, it happens. Uh, the most common scenarios are CI. So most of the times you are starting from a clean environment, there's no cache in it. So you clone the Xcode project and then you start doing things with it. Also for someone that is getting started in a new team, they clone the repo and same thing, they start interacting with it. And also sometimes developers clean derived data when they see errors that they are not able to, to fix. Uh, that's actually, I think it's more common than what, what people think. So those are the moments when you're interacting with some, with the ESCO project and there's nothing in the cache. So, and I want to show you how Twist improves that experience quite significantly from the perspective of productivity. To show you how that works, I'm going to clone Twist itself. Imagine I'm in a new team and my role is going to be to contribute to the project. We are using Twist with Twist. Um, it's very meta, but it was very handy because we can dog food our own tool. We can have ideas for new features, see bugs and fix them. So now this is cloned. I'm going to do CD Twist. I get this error where you're using Miss as a tool manager. Um, and it's asking me, like, do you want to trust the tools in this directory? I say, yes, miss trust. Cool. Everything is good now. So the first thing that we do is we pull dependencies. Uh, instead of using the S code standard integration that resolves dependencies when you open the project, Twist has a tool for, for doing that. Same as pod install. So you do twist install. And this one is using Swift package manager internally. The only difference is that in our case, we are going to convert them into ESCO projects and targets so that you can binary cache them. Otherwise, uh, you wouldn't be able to do so, or it would be harder because Apple is taking all of this into the build system. It's kind of like not really optimizable. And the way we make it optimizable is by translating them into ESCO projects and targets. So we are good now. Now I'm going to Someone told me, you know, like you, we're using Twist Cloud, so you can sign in, so that you can pull binaries and skip some compilations and steps. So I'm gonna do Twist uh, cl Cloud out. It takes me to this login screen. I sign in with GitHub. It tells me to go back to the terminal. This guy is telling me now that everything is. I I was able to successfully authenticate. So now I'm gonna generate the project. So I do Twist generate. And then because I'm authenticated and I have access to the binary cache, then Twist will use Twist Cloud to pull those binaries. It's telling me the, the hash of every single target of the project. You see that there is a mix of binaries for third-party dependencies and also binaries for the project. So by default, if I don't specify anything, all the external dependencies are cached. So I get the project here. I get all my targets. As you see here, it's quite a large project. Everything starts with twist. And here you find all the packages pre-compiled as sexy frameworks. So that I don't have to compile them. So I skip all the compilation of, of those packages, which can be quite significant depending on how large your dependency graph is. Let's say I, I know I want to focus on one module. Let's say I work on the uh, twist, I don't know, loader team. Uh, most of the time I spend my, my, my days working on that target and therefore I don't really care about the others. So I can close this and you can say, you know, twist generate twist loader. And now uh, it also needs to pull the binaries for the targets of the project or the targets that twist loader depends on. And it happened magically. As you, as you can see in the terminal, like it says, well, I need to pull twist support, twist graph, project description, and twist core. And all of them are coming through the network. Uh, they are just pulled, they are launched, and here we go. So we have twist, we have all the external dependencies as exit frameworks, and also the twist support and twist graph and twist core, which uh, twist loader depends on. And as you see here, all the links are uh, well set up. We can see all the static exit frameworks that we're linking from the cache. As you can see here, now if I compile that one target, it should be fast. I don't think that target is large. I can clean, I can build again, and it takes seconds. So 
uh, imagine like I'm working on that twist loader and I don't want to be cleaning. Um, so the amount of steps, compilation steps that I can skip, not only locally, but also on TI, is a huge saving in terms of money and also in terms of time. So developers feel way more productive. So that is Twist, that is Twist Cloud, that is binary caching, and I think it's amazing. Um, I think more people need to realize the, how powerful this is and, and bring it to their projects.